satisfied when we wake in his life. This being a memorial of this blessed loved one that we've got under our consideration. That's something about Baptist people. They don't forget their dead. It don't matter, Brother Benny, how long that they laid there, they still remember. I thought about Brother Benny <coughs> I sat there and I thought about the sermon that you preached back in 1972. The birthday party about David and Goliath. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I never did forget that. Sweet memories that I've got of Sister Beat back here has come a long way this morning. I hope and pray that God will take the lead and the charge of my mind and give me something that would encourage Sister Sue and these loved ones is left behind. I know that Sissy got killed on the highway and I, I sit there and I try to think there's a highway there's never been a wreck. Oh, there's a highway that there's no wrecks, there's no detours, there's no stop signs. It's just one way. And it's to work towards the place that's called that. And I'm glad that God.
told them a long time ago on the way, he said, he, Jesus didn't want to leave. It's far from the hearts that he was going to have to leave. But he said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. But I'm going to pray unto my Father, and he's going to send you another comforter that will guide you in all ways of truth. No prophet of old said, we know. Now there's things that we know and there's things that we hope for. We're not hoping to be saved anymore, but our hope is all a glorious resurrection. He said, I know that this earthly house of this our tabernacle were to be dissolved. We have a building. Not made with hands, but eternal in the heaven. Were that we mourn and we groan to be clothed upon by that house. And when that house comes down and goes around us, then we can lift up holy hands and say, Lord, you're mine and I'm yours. And I'm on the king's highway. So one day after a while, this house of ours is going to fall. But now, Brother Benny, when Jimmy Hall falls, it's going to be this old man here. Do you believe there's a house in a house? I mean, the old writer talked about there's a wheel in a wheel. And when the inward wheel begins to move, it'll cause this outward wheel to begin to move also. So I'm, I'm sure today in our memories in the past of these loved ones that's here that he said, I would not have you to be ignorant concerning them that are asleep. It didn't say dead now. Sis is not dead, brother Jerry. She's in the paradise of God arresting from all of her labors now enjoying the realities of that beautiful and that blessed forever. And if I didn't believe that today, I'd go home. I'd never open this book again. It'd be like when he told old John to seal her up. It's finished. But we that have been born again, we just begin to leave them. And this corruptible body is going to put on incorruptible. This earthly body is going to put on a heavenly body. Then we be able to say death has been swallowed up in victory. You don't lose when you die in the Lord. One day after a while, I'm going to be like David of old when he sounded up in this way. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley and through the shadows of David, I'll fear no evil. Why, David, thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they do comfort me. David summed it up in this way. He said, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're going somewhere. Amen. It's this church house that we're in today. It's this temple. It's this for a little while. All right. <laughs> but there's a morning to come. And it don't matter what you belong to. That solid rock, New Salem, Indian body, free will, wholeness. God don't look at the name over the door. He's a heart searcher. He's a heart searcher and a rain trier to the sons of men. But the only thing, Brother Jeremiah, I hope you pray. 
God is going to recognize him that morning when he'll say, Swing yeah. 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 Well, my Lord. you everlasting day, but my yes. come in. Yes, sir. So I want you to understand the only thing that he's going to recognize on Jimmy Hall. Was in the year 1972, I stood you know, there naked. Yes. Before him, I didn't have no coat for my sin. And then I bowed my head and said, Lord, I'm gone forever, but been in a moment's time, a brother and I, He opens my heart up and give me a little black stone and uh, there was something in that stone hey, his name I know the Savior that received it, and I'm glad that I received that name. It's walking with me these 40 some years. It weighs down with me at night. It gets up in the morning. It walks from outside, but in the morning, Brother James, I'm looking for that name to be called one more time. He's going to say, come, you bless to my father. I want you to hear something. Lord, as long as I can get in the door, I'll be satisfied. Hello, friend, the old rider goes to the Lord. Would you hide me away in the grave in secret until I, until I ride me back? A bit more. Would you have fought the Lord? Oh, my God. 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 Of the prison bar of the place. Yes, oh, I looked through the picture here, Sister Sue. Uh, I seen how beautiful uh, uh, that she was, but uh, uh, you've never seen beauty until uh, uh, she waved uh, with that garment all down to the foot. And then uh, God will loosen her tongue, and uh, uh, she'll begin uh, uh, to join in with that number. Uh, there's a number already there. Uh, uh, and they'll uh, uh, sing the same song. Yeah. Yeah. Guess who's going to be in it down? And the Lord of Lords. So I'm glad. I'm glad that I was like Murray. I chose that good part. Shall never be taken away. A brother, when he chews that good part, he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll walk with you. He'll be your shelter when the storms of life come up on you. So here, today, that there's going to be a resurrection of the just and the unjust. But here was the key to all of it. Blessed and holy is he that has the part already got. Have a part in the first resurrection. Uh, for I'm son of the second dead uh, at no power. Uh, would it be all right to preach here today uh, that she's not dead? A uh, brother of uh, that uh, she's in the arms of Jesus uh, in the garden of God where uh, he watches over her. Uh, he nourishes her. Uh, he provides for her. And uh, she's patiently uh, waiting for a morning to come. Amen. Yes, Lord. I thought she was beautiful here. You wait. In that morning, the old prophet of old said, When beauty shall spring from the prison bar of the play. And the poet said, When I wake in your likeness, Lord, 
Then I'll be satisfied. So uh, that's, I'm glad today that uh, the writer said uh, that though uh, the skin worms uh, uh, devour this body and mind, yet in uh, my flesh uh, shall I see God. I'll see him for myself and not another. Uh, but, uh, but the main thing today, if you want to see Sissy today, I uh, choose the good part uh, that she chose. I'll never be taken away in. Uh, so that gives us uh, uh, the right today uh, to say right, uh, right blessed are the dead uh, that dine the Lord from his for. Yea, say uh, the spirit that they're going to do something. Uh, they're going to rest from the river. And their works is going to follow them. And this works has to go on with it. I worked a whole lot in my life, but the greatest work I ever done is starting to dig, begin to pray after I believe. And when I reach the end of my ability, the far come down. I know there was. A young fellow down there, he belongs to the Pentecostal church, and I've got nothing against him. He said he had to pray for the Holy Ghost. I said, now, little brother, I said, I love you. I said, I got it, but they ain't got to save me. <laughs> it took a Holy Ghost and the fire to come down and burn the works of Satan out and clean the house that he'd come in and be a everlasting abider. So I'm glad today that God knows them that are his. Everyone that's got the blood, God knows them. He knows them by name. Brother and and in the resurrection morning, it ain't going to become a jury man. He's going to say, come, we'll all hear the boys at the same time and you say come in uh, it's supper time uh, would you uh, girt himself and let him serve us I thought about what little the little color color run he wasn't a color color but he was a dark man old brother Steve was most but Jerry remembered yeah He'd sit there and he'd rock that head back and forth. Brother Benny, you remember. Yeah. And time that he'd get through a sign in a song, he could have mopped the floor. Yeah. The tears would roll right down into the floor. But I'm glad for one thing, that we don't forget our day. I pity the people today all over this world. They think, that when you take them to the cemetery and bury them, that's the end of it. They're just beginning to live. And it makes me think about that glorious day of coming that is going to call from the north, east, south, and west. And we're all going to come together. There ain't going to be one left out. It don't matter if you just got in at the 11th hour. Sissy might have got in at the 11th hour, but Sister Sue, her crown will be just as bright as yours. Her brother Benny here. But I'll tell you one thing, time don't mean nothing with the Lord. Well, how long are you going to heaven for? I'm just going there for one day, brother. We'll not need the light of the sun, neither the moon, but the glory of that king will light that city, and we'll praise him and give him glory and give him honor forever. And I thought how bad, how good that he's been to this congregation here today. He's let you wake. He's let you open your eyes. And he put it up on your mind. I need to go out to the house of the Lord. I need to hear about his goodness and all of his mercy. I need to feel him right down on my soul. If you've got a God you can't feel, you need to hit your knees again. You've got to feel this man before you understand what it's all about. Yeah. 
But I'm glad for one thing. That if you've got a part of him, you don't have to worry about death no more. I know we dread the sting of death. We all did. Even Jesus did. Way hung He knew before he ever left his father's side. You're going to call me hard shell. Some of them said Jesus was never on the scene until he was born of a virgin Mary. Who do you think God was talking to when he said, let us? He was talking to his son. He said, let us make man in our image and after our own likeness. He was talking to his son. But after man had sold himself out and had nothing to redeem himself, and it even repented God, Brother Benny, that it never made man. But as they, as they sat there, he said, Father, I'll go down and I'll die for that sorry Jerry man. Take me wrong. And I'll die for Jimmy Hall. And Father, let all the reproaches that reproach thee on me. Just let it fall on me. You know he done a good job of preaching. And finally, that old king, he didn't like that no more. And they hung him between heaven and earth. And on the left side of him, there was a thief. And there was one on the right. They kindly rallied us on the Lord. Said, if I be the Christ, doubt it. Come down and save thyself and us. And as, as death was getting closer, here come a Roman soldier. Now, we've been in bad shape if that, yeah. if that soldier hadn't pierced him inside. We have been in bad shape, brother. Right? And he come by and he pierced him in the side. Forthwith came blood and water. That was the blood that I was washed in. The water sanctification. My soul. The old prophet said, out of his belly, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This water I'm talking about, it runs on the top of the mountain. It runs in the valleys. It will run right in your bedroom or in your closet. You can't stop that water from coming. I remember when I was praying on the side of Triplet Branch, right on the side of the hill, I made the final cry. I felt the water go right down in my soul. Yeah. I heard his voice, Brother Jerry, you call me a fool if you want to. I heard the voice of the Lord. I, I say, son, you're mine now, and I'm yours. I shouted off that hill that day, and you know what? When I got down to the foot of it, Satan was right there. He said, he ain't done a thing for you. I just turned right around and went right back up the hill. The Lord caught me halfway. Son, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. It don't matter how many storms come, I'll I'll be your shelter. I'll be your rock in a worried land. And I, I when, I, when sorrow come, I, I'll take you in my arm. I, I'll lay your head against my bosom. I, and I'll make a covenant with you. And I'll wash you. I, I'll sanctify you. I, and I'll take my hand. I, and I've got a book of life. I, I'll write your name in there. I, Satan can't destroy I, what God done. But, I, but I can say one 
one thing about that thief on, on the right side. He looked at him and he recognized him as Lord and Savior. He said, Lord, when thou comest into that kingdom, would you remember me? And did take Jesus all day. He said, this day shalt thou be with me in paradise. So I'm here to claim the day that sissy right in the eleventh hour, brother, and I, Jesus was there. He ain't, he ain't going on a journey nowhere. He on a vacation. He's still seated right by his father, and he's got an angel at his command. He can dispatch at any time. And say, I've got a child that's in need. I've got one that's hungry. I've got one that's thirsty. I've got one that's naked. Would you go down there and clothe it and put it in its right mind? Can it? I've got a kingdom down there for it to enjoy his time of salvation. That's why he told Peter, he said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church. It belongs to God. It don't belong to you, brother. This building is just a building. But the church is what's in the inside of them has possessed the faith in God, brother. That's the church. That's them that's been washed in that atoning blood. You know, if if I would cut Brother Benny or he cut me, that blood that we shed, it'll leave a stain. But that pure blood that flows from the throne of God and now the Lamb, one drop of it will all be. It'll make you whiter than snow. It'll make you shout and say, God, you're my father. God, I'm your son. But I could say one thing about this thing that's called death. Death is sweet when you've got Jesus in your life. That's why the Bible says better than the death than the birth. Brother, and I'm talking about the, ch the children of God. I'm talking about them that's been down to the banqueted house and the banner over them was love. But I can say one thing for a memorial. It's good to remember our loved ones. But the first of all, remember the one that hung on the tree of the cross. I shed his blood. He didn't have to do it. Brother, he loved us that way. After we'd sold ourselves out and had no way back in, he said, Father, I I'll go down. I'll make a way that men can get on. This is a highway of holiness. There's no unclean thing on this road. The old prophet the old said, the vulture's eyes never seen, or even the lion's web has never trodden. But it was made for one kind of people. The redeemed of the Lord shall walk in this way. You know, if I could, I told my sisters, they was in last week, and my brother, about all of our family's gone. I sat there after they eat supper and we was talking. I said, if there's another one has to leave the family. I said, Lord, if it's your will, take me. I don't want them to die in their sins. <laughs> Maybe, and I told them, I said, when you pass my failed body laying over on that church, I said, let it be a remorse to you. I said, you need to find you have a remote spot, a secret spot. And you know I couldn't keep from crying. The other night I was sitting there and I was looking on Facebook and my brother, He's been reading the Bible. Put a whole scripture through that. I got out and I walked the road. And I said, Lord, don't let it be in vain. You don't take a hold of the plow, brother, and look back. You've got to keep your hands on it. 
Amen. Brother Greener, you've got to keep the lines around. Sister Bent knows what I'm talking about. I used to plow a whole lot. And when you say G, that means right, Brother Terry. And sometimes they wouldn't want to go, they'd want to go both ways, and then you'd have, you'd have to kind of line them up. But I've had the hardness of the Lord on me 44 years. Sometimes when I walk just a little bit to the left, he'll chastise me. he says, say, son, don't you remember what I've done for you? Don't you remember what you promised me? And I'll have to look and I'll say, Lord, would you forgive me of my shortcomings? And I could say to this blessed family and this blessed grandmother and these loved ones, <coughs> Sissy wouldn't want you to cry, Sister Sue. He'd want you to rejoice. If this life is all that we had to look forward to, we'd be crying every day. I'm looking for a morning to come. A morning of all mornings. And when the Father looks at Gabriel. He said, Gabriel, I've got another job for you to do. I want you to go down and place one of your feet on the land and one on the sea. And declare to me that time shall be no more. Now, Gabriel, you've got a trumpet, but don't you blow it until you hear it from me. And when that trumpet blows, it'll be like old Ezekiel when he was carried down in that valley. And that valley was full of dry bones. And I believe the Bible said they were dry and very dry. And he looked up and said, Son of man, can these bones live? Yeah, Lord, thou knowest. He told him to prophesy unto the wind. He done as the Lord commanded him. The last time he blowed to that south wind. That's why I always like the south. That's why I left Detroit a long time ago. <laughs> Wholehearted place, Brother Penny. And when that south wind began to blow, I'll be blown as they come bone come to this bone, then send you and then flash and then skin. But when that south wind began to blow, I believe the Bible said they stood on their feet. Is that what the Bible said? And they see that. Mighty on. This was the whole household of this. So I'm going to say one thing. I would not have you to be concerned with them that are asleep. We worry and we cry, Sister Beat in nature, for our loved ones. But we look at it on the wrong side. You know, there's a sect of religion today that when one of their loved ones die, they party and rejoice and... They have a big time. But when our, when our families die, we'll cry and we'll mourn for days. But the good part of it all, let's all join our hands together and walk together and be good to one another. God's people is easy to be treated by. And wait till that special day comes that he'll call the night. I know I ain't done much, but I kind of wanted to come over and I'm glad to come and on town Sister Sue. I, I, I laid up night and thought about what you told me. But I could say one thing. When you die in the Lord, brother, and you don't die alone. 
How many believes that Jesus lives right down in your soul today? I do. I do. It took me a long time to realize that. How many feels when you're destitute and think you ain't got a friend in the world? How many feels when looks on the inside? Lord, are you still right? I've done that many times. And when trouble comes, that's the first one I call on. I said, Lord, I need you to come to my rescue. In a moment's time, he's right there. May God bless this family, bless this congregation. And my worst wish is to everyone in here, if you've never cried to me, don't be such a he-man or a whatever. Well, I'm not going to bow to nobody. You're going to bow somewhere. You're going to bow in the morning, whether you want to or not. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. But don't be like them. Don't let the ship leave you. You've got to have a ticket to get on board. And when you've got a ticket, buddy, it punts one way towards heaven and a mortal goal. Oh, may God bless you. So come on to